In order to find the colors that I'm gonna use for this, I'm gonna swatch it on this paper. I did some swatching and I decided on R20 and R29 as the main skin tone colors. I believe I'm using R20 for, yeah. All right, look, I know you see it. Maybe you don't, but I see it. His face right now, that is the keyword right now, is anatomically incorrect. It's so bad, but it takes me a while to realize that I can't live if this is what his face looks like. So later on in the video, I do fix it, just not right now. I had a reference image that I was using for the pose. So maybe, just maybe, I'll steal the lighting situation. I really love the way I drew their face. And I really don't like the way I drew their face. I went ahead and finished up both the hair on Blair and some of Misha's skin. It's still drying, so that's why it looks like whatever that is. And because the hair is white, I'm going to be using a really light blue. This is probably the lightest shade of blue I have. That is not very light, as you can see. I've been doing a lot of digital art lately. And so the moment I made that mark, I was like, no, nah, that don't look good. I almost went to double tap the screen. Or not double tap, but this. To undo it. I'm wondering if I should go over it again. I don't wanna, but I might. And now I am. Question is, do I want to do it on Blair too? I feel I don't want to, but can't give one good treatment and not the other, because then it's gonna look bad. This blotchiness might also be due to the fact that I need to get a refill. See, look how gross that looks, and then it's gonna dry. It's gonna look fine. Usually, they're wearing green, and they're just wearing white. I can tell how many times I've used this marker because it's still a fine point, unlike a marker I use all the time. All right, well, that's done. Because I'm not using the bottom of this page, I'm just gonna start using it for squatches. Squatches, swatches. And hope that everything goes well. Like I said, this is white, this is white. But because this is a different part, I don't want to shade it with the same color. How does this body angle? I guess that makes sense. I know this color scheme. I know this color scheme. I didn't realize we were going in there. There's an accent, I swear. Please look at this. It's, well, it's hilarious to me, but this all the fibers. Well, I already started. The skin tone colors are completely wrong because this one's powder pink. So you think that it would have the pink red undertone 
but in reality, it doesn't. It has like a yellow undertone, so that's nice, so that goes with them. And then the pear color, you would think, oh, pears, they're kind of yellow. It would probably go with, you know, a yellow undertone. Just kidding, it's a pink undertone, so that one goes with him. I wish I knew I was going to use purple earlier. I could have just used purple for the shading of the clothing look. If purple's not in your color palette for shading purposes. I don't know what your issue is. I'm not saying you have to use purple. You could literally use any color in the entire world for shading. But purple, it just makes everything so nice and aesthetic. Purple is the way to go. It is officially the next day. I couldn't let this drawing look like this. This is his new face. All right, so <laughs> I glued his face on slash taped i did both i glued and taped it um it looks so much better but because it's been taped on it just it needs a little bit of working around the edges in conclusion i just want to say thank you for watching and stick around if you want to see more i do plan on doing a sketchbook tour at some point but first i have to actually finish it so until then i'll see you later